The Congo is considered the ideal habitat for mysterious creatures that truly exist in our world. This is because half of the country's territory is covered in dense tropical forests teeming with abundant flora, making it effortless to go unnoticed. Watch this video to uncover the most chilling revelations from the Congo that have the potential to frighten anyone. Sit back and enjoy. Number 1. The Gold Mountain of Luigi In 2021, it was accidentally discovered by local residents that the rock in the Luigi Mountain in the South Kivu province is comprised of 90% gold. The news quickly spread, attracting thousands of impoverished individuals to gather at the foot of the mountain. They began extracting the valuable ore using shovels, picks, and even their bare hands. Surprisingly, despite using rudimentary gold panning methods, they were able to obtain a significant quantity of gold. However, the joy experienced by the local residents was short-lived. Authorities prohibited access to the mountain and mandated the registration of those who had extracted gold with the intention of returning it to the national treasury. Congo is an abundant country when it comes to mineral resources, including diamonds, gold, oil, tin, tungsten, tantalum, and uranium ore. Unfortunately, despite all these riches, the local population has not seen any positive impact on their well-being. Even today, the Democratic Republic of Congo remains one of the world's poorest nations, with approximately 96% of the population lacking access to basic necessities such as health care, electricity, and running water. Number 2. Giant Chimpanzees of the Billy Forest Darwin's theory suggests that humans evolved from monkeys over a lengthy process of evolution. Our closest relatives are chimpanzees, with more than 375 different species identified. Male chimpanzees typically have an average height of around 150 centimeters. However, research has revealed that in Congo, much larger individuals exist. National Geographic announced a groundbreaking discovery of a new type of chimpanzees in 2003. These chimpanzees found in the Bili Forest in northern Congo bear a resemblance to a cross between gorillas and chimpanzees. The local Congolese described these enormous chimpanzees as growing up to 180 centimeters in height. They possess incredible strength and are capable of overpowering even lions. The newly discovered species of primates possess a physique similar to gorillas, walk on two legs, and build their nests on the ground rather than in trees. Despite their physical similarities, they do not coexist with gorillas and have a diet more similar to chimpanzees. The first encounter with the Bili chimpanzees was by primate ecologist Shelley Williams, who encountered four large male primates in the forest. Initially appearing ready to attack, they instead approached her, scrutinized her carefully, and then departed. Interestingly, the behavior of the Bili chimpanzees differs from other monkeys, as reported by local residents. While male chimpanzees often display aggression towards humans, the Billy chimpanzees closely observe hunters before retreating, seemingly recognizing them as kin. Currently, scientists are conducting in-depth research on these chimpanzees and considering various hypotheses regarding their nature. They could potentially be larger individuals of the chimpanzee species, hybrids of gorillas and chimpanzees, or even an entirely new species of great apes. If the latter possibility is true, their discovery would be a significant zoological breakthrough in the 21st century. Number 3. Jeba Fofi, the Giant Spider The idea of giant horrifying spiders is often depicted in horror movies and video games. However, the Baka tribe of Congo believes that these monstrous creatures, known as Jaba Fofi or giant spiders, actually exist in their forests. The fame of Jabba Fofi grew in 2008 when they were mentioned in Monster Quest, but knowledge of them goes back to the late 19th century. In 1890, missionary Arthur Sims discovered a massive web that was believed to belong to an enormous spider. Surprisingly, as Sims and his team examined the web, several people got caught in it, and giant spider specimens descended from the forest and attacked them. These spiders were huge, with a height of over 100 centimeters. Another encounter with Jabba Fofi occurred in 1938 when the Lloyd couple witnessed a spider the size of a large cat while driving in Zimbabwe. 
This spider resembled a gigantic tarantula but had longer legs. In 1980, researcher William Gibbons became intrigued by the spiders from Congo and conducted an expedition. The Baca tribe confirmed the reality of these creatures and provided more information. It turns out that Jabba Fofi are brown spiders measuring 100 to 120 centimeters in length. They typically inhabit caves and construct webs in the forests to trap their prey, which includes small mammals and birds. The giant spider's eggs are the size of peanuts, and hatchlings emerge in yellow and purple colors. According to the Baca tribe, these spiders are highly dangerous, so their nests are always destroyed, leading to a significant decline in the population of Jabba Fofi. Number 4. Electrically Charged Stones in a small town called Monono, located in the Tanganyika province, a unique discovery has been made by local residents. According to their accounts, these stones possess an innate electric potential. To validate the exceptional nature of their find, people began documenting videos that swiftly gained popularity on the Internet. These videos exhibit vigorous sparks emanating from the stones when they are rubbed together, reminiscent of welding. In one instance, an individual succeeded in illuminating a light bulb using one of these extraordinary stones. All discovered stones share a dark hue and a shiny surface, indicating that they are likely comprised of a mineral that has yet to be studied. Several individuals even speculated that these stones might be the actual vibranium, a fictional metal from Marvel Comics responsible for creating Captain America's shield and the Black Panther's suit. At present, Scientists contend that these videos have been altered, as minerals lack the capability to emit the electrons required for storing and producing a charge. Nonetheless, these stones have not undergone comprehensive examination, leaving open the possibility that the residents of Congo have indeed stumbled upon an unidentified mineral. Number 5. Giant Snake In 1959, a Belgian colonel named Remy van Leerd witnessed an unimaginable snake while flying over the jungles in the Katanga region. The snake had a green and brown-colored back and sides with a milky hue on its underside. What astonished Leard the most was its estimated length of about 15 meters. The colonel was so taken aback by the snake's immense size that he couldn't believe his eyes. He immediately instructed the pilot to fly over it again. During the second pass, the snake raised its head to a minimum height of three meters, almost as if it was warning against any potential attack. Sensing danger, the colonel promptly ordered a return to the base. Luckily, he managed to capture images of this colossal snake using an onboard camera, providing evidence of its existence. Upon thorough analysis of the photographs, Scientists speculated that this giant snake could be a mutated giant African rock python or a new species inhabiting inaccessible areas. They also considered the possibility of it being a descendant of an ancient Eocene snake. Once again, the images of this snake serve as proof that the Congo's tropical forests harbor various enigmatic creatures. It is quite feasible that certain species, long extinct millions of years ago, have managed to survive there. Number 6. Cave of Torturous Death Attilio Gotti, an Italian filmmaker and explorer with a strong fascination for African culture, thoroughly studied the nature and indigenous culture of Congo. He became the first person to capture Africans on film by immersing himself in their society, participating in their traditions, and even taking photographs. One notable photograph showed Gotti alongside pygmy hunters and a captured gorilla. During his scientific career in Africa, Gotti amassed a collection of 35,000 photographs, wrote 30 books, and made a film about the country. The Africans shared a captivating legend with Gotti about dangerous caves believed to be inhabited by evil spirits who allegedly killed any unwelcome guests. Intrigued by the story, Gotti planned an expedition to explore the connection between the caves and mysticism. However, he fell ill and his team decided to enter the caves in his place. Shockingly, none of the team members who entered the caves ever returned. What happened to them remains a mystery. Devastated by the incident, Gotti vowed to never challenge the beliefs and stories of the people of Congo again. Number 7. Encounter with Giant Gorillas In the mid-1800s, 
Stories circulated among travelers about the largest gorillas in the world living in Congo's mountainous regions. It wasn't until 1902 that Captain Oscar von Barenga, a German, encountered these primates, and they were subsequently named Baringa gorillas. Baringa gorillas can reach heights of 2 meters and weigh over 200 kilograms. With limited habitat on the inaccessible slopes of six dormant volcanoes in the Virunga mountain range, studying these gorillas posed significant challenges. The difficulties increased further with the onset of the Civil War in 1967. Despite the obstacles, Diane Fossey, an American primatologist, persisted in her research, organized conservation efforts, and worked to protect the gorillas from poachers. Tragically, she was killed by poachers in 1953. However, thanks to Fossey's efforts, the rare Beringe gorillas were saved and now only inhabit the National Park in Uganda and the Virunga Volcanic Mountains. The population of these gorillas is estimated to be around 1,000 individuals, but their survival remains at risk. Number 8. Cobalt Mining Cobalt, a highly sought-after mineral utilized in the creation of heat-resistant and durable coatings, is predominantly produced in the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. However, the mining conditions behind its extraction have been largely overlooked. The lure of high wages has led thousands to migrate to remote areas in Congo, aspiring for employment opportunities. Tragically, the mining of cobalt-rich stones has transformed into a modern-day form of enslavement, with only the mine owners benefiting substantially. Small-scale mines, responsible for around 30% of mineral extraction, frequently violate human rights. Under the scorching sun, children toil, individuals endure injuries, and some even perish in perilous underground tunnels. Consequently, human rights organizations are growing increasingly concerned about companies involved in unsafe mineral extraction practices that disregard proper machinery and safety protocols. Yet putting an end to this production proves to be a complex challenge. Unfortunately, impoverished Congolese citizens living in extreme destitution are forced to compromise their well-being for any means of income. Number 9. Mysterious Megaliths Megaliths, which can be found all over the world, including the famous Stonehenge in England, also exist in Africa, displaying impressive formations made of massive stones. The origins and purposes of megaliths are a mystery, and scientists are particularly intrigued by the fact that they were constructed using primitive tools of the time, making the building process nearly impossible. Consequently, some people connect megaliths to the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations, although there is insufficient evidence to substantiate this hypothesis. Consequently, the enigma of the origins of these intricate structures remains puzzling to the modern human mind. Number 10. Kongamato Dinosaur or Strange Bird It is undoubtedly astonishing to think that enormous flying dinosaurs have managed to survive and evade detection to such an extent that there is no proof of their existence. However, the people of Congo firmly believe that ancient creatures truly dwell in their forests, and one of these creatures is referred to as Kongamato in the local language. The term Kongamato translates to Overwhelmer of Boats. According to local legends, these enormous flying creatures with wingspans ranging from 4 to 7 meters reside near swamps and rivers. Once they spot fishermen, they become aggressive and launch attacks. The initial encounter with such a creature took place in 1932. As stated by the American zoologist Yvonne Sanderson, he was assaulted by a toothed monster. To his surprise, he managed to escape by leaping into a river and shooting at the creature with his revolver. However, the flying creature appeared unfazed by the bullets and simply flew away in fear. In 1956, Engineer Brown reported an interaction with two flying creatures close to Lake Bangwulu in present-day Zambia. From a distance, these creatures resembled gigantic eagles, but their heads and tails were unlike any known bird. As per Brown's account, these peculiar creatures possessed long, slender tails and narrow heads. In accordance with local resident testimonies, in 1957, a man who had suffered a severe chest wound was admitted to a hospital in Fort Roseberry.
Later, he recounted his encounter with a genuine monster with enormous wings, teeth, and claws in the swamps of Bangwulu. He described it as an entity unlike anything he had ever laid eyes upon. When asked to provide a depiction of the creature, he drew something resembling a pterosaur. While there is no concrete evidence validating the existence of the Kangamato, cryptozoologists speculate, based on eyewitness accounts, that these individuals encountered descendants of pterosaurs. Number 11. Mokale Mbembe. 243 million years ago, dinosaurs roamed the Earth, with over 1,000 different species existing between the Triassic and Jurassic periods. However, approximately 201 million years ago, all dinosaurs became extinct, and the exact cause of this mass extinction remains unknown. There are various theories, including climate change and the impact of a massive asteroid. Currently, our knowledge of dinosaurs primarily comes from informational sources. But what if some of these species actually survived, allowing us to witness them firsthand? In certain cultures, legends depict creatures that bear a striking resemblance to dinosaurs. Examples include the Loch Ness Monster and Ogopogo. The people of Congo also believe in a similar creature, known as Mokale Mbembe, which translates to the one that stops the flow of rivers. According to local residents, Mokale Mbembe resides in Lake Tele and its surroundings. It is said to be active during the day, feeding on ripe fruits and leaves, and hides in the lake's deep waters at night. Despite being an herbivorous creature, Mokale Mbembe shows aggression towards anyone who gets in its way, causing people to fear encountering it. Nevertheless, numerous eyewitnesses claim to have seen this creature. These eyewitness accounts describe Mokale Mbembe as having smooth, brown-gray skin. It is comparable in size to an adult elephant, with a long neck, a single large tooth or horn, and a scaly tail similar to that of an alligator. Many expeditions have been conducted in search of this mysterious species, yet proving its existence has remained elusive. Interestingly, when shown images of various animals and dinosaurs, the locals recognized sauropods as Mokale Mbembe, leading cryptozoologists to speculate that these might be the only surviving species of dinosaurs to this day. Number 12. Mahamba, Ancestor of Crocodiles According to stories from the Congo, there is a fearsome creature that lurks in the swamps near Lake Lakawala. It is described as a massive reptile, measuring about 15 meters long. With a cunning tactic, it hides in the marsh and pounces on its unsuspecting prey, overpowering them with its gigantic jaws. Local residents compare this mysterious creature, known as Muhamamba, to other unknown animals and reptiles like Uncoli Orton Guma Monene. Cryptozoologists speculate that Muhamamba may be a surviving relative of Mosasaurs, an extinct species from the Cretaceous period. Alternatively, some scientists believe it could be descended from prehistoric crocodiles such as Deinosuchus or Sarcosuchus. Even though there have been no confirmed sightings of Muhamamba, the indigenous Bobangi tribe firmly believe it dwells in specific regions of Likawala, and they steer clear of those areas at all costs. Number 13. The Largest Insects of Congo in today's video, I have discussed extensively the colossal inhabitants of Congo, though sightings of most of them are rare. Now, let's shift our focus to the largest insects discovered in Congo. First up is the Goliath beetle, renowned as one of the biggest beetles worldwide. Fully grown Goliath beetles can reach a size of 11.5 centimeters and weigh between 50 to 100 grams. Now prepare yourself for quite a disturbing yet awe-inspiring sight. Behold, the larva of this beetle known as the giant African millipede. Unlike centipedes, it poses no threat to humans and is entirely non-aggressive. Additionally, they easily adapt to captivity and become quite docile. However, not many would willingly hold such a creature due to its rather unpleasant appearance. Within the diplopod millipede category, it is the giant African millipede that holds the title, measuring a body length of 38.5 centimeters with a 2 centimeter thickness. Another noteworthy insect found in Congo is the massive praying mantis, which can grow up to 17 centimeters in length. I reckon encountering these insects in the tropics is a scenario that few of you would desire. Number 14. Dingo Neck. The Monster. 
The people of Congo have a belief in a terrifying creature called Zaire, or Dinganek, which is said to live in the rivers and lakes of West Africa. According to Congolese legends, this monster can grow up to 3.5 meters tall and has a square head, a long horn, powerful fangs, a tail resembling a saber with a venomous stinger, and tough scales with a leopard-like pattern on its skin. The Dinganek fiercely defends its territory and is known to attack crocodiles, hippos, and even humans. Along with these legends, there is a documented account of an encounter with a creature resembling a manticore. In 1907, African explorer John Alfred Jordan heard stories about the Dinga Neck and, despite initially being skeptical, he was offered the opportunity to explore the Magori River by local residents. It was during this expedition that Jordan witnessed the actual monster emerging from the water. The explorer described the creature as approximately four meters long, covered in scales, with a long tail armed with fangs and tusks. Jordan admitted that seeing it immediately brought walruses to his mind. This encounter frightened the explorer, leading him to shoot the Dingonic in the neck, causing it to disappear into the water. The people in the area were terrified by this event and fled, never returning. Number 15. The Mystical Monolith In November 2020, the United States witnessed the discovery of the first mystical monolith in Utah. Subsequently, several shiny monoliths appeared in countries like Germany, the United Kingdom, Romania, and others. Moving to February 2021, the capital of Congo, Kinshasa, became the location of a mysterious monolith. However, unlike the Europeans, the local residents held suspicions towards this structure and regarded it with caution. To ensure a thorough investigation, the city authorities decided to protect the monolith. In Congo, where superstition holds sway, some individuals believed the structure to be connected to dark forces. As a result, efforts were made to destroy or even set fire to the monolith. Despite ongoing attempts, it remains elusive as to who installed these structures and no evidence of their transportation has been found. Certain individuals, such as UFO enthusiasts and Internet users, have drawn connections between these enigmatic monoliths and peculiar objects captured in images of Mercury, Phobos, and Mars. This has led them to theorize that the monoliths might be the creation of extraterrestrial beings. Number 16. Emelantuka, the Ancient Elephant Killer The people of Congo have a belief in the existence of a mysterious creature called Emila Intuka. This creature, described as a giant freshwater animal, resembles a rhinoceros with a massive body and a horn capable of killing elephants and other large animals in a single blow. Unlike a rhinoceros, Emila Intuka has a longer neck surrounded by folds similar to a crocodile's. Reports of this incredible creature first emerged in 1913, when explorer Hans Schoenberg collected stories from the Claw tribe in Liberia, leading to the publication of an article dedicated to the astonishing Emila Intuka. In the early 21st century, a resident of Congo claimed to have killed one of these unknown species and kept its horn as a souvenir. This incident inspired the creation of a documentary film about the enigmatic Emila Intuka. Despite being an herbivore, the creature was believed to kill any living thing that crossed its path. A dead elephant discovered near the Claw tribe's settlement with a sharp object piercing its side was attributed by locals as a victim of Emila Intuka. According to the Claw tribe's descriptions, this mysterious elephant killer closely resembled herbivorous dinosaurs from the ceratopsid family that existed during the Cretaceous period. Cryptozoologists speculate that some members of this family managed to survive and remain hidden in the dense forests of Congo to this day. That, that's all for now. If you found this video enjoyable, kindly show your support by liking, subscribing, and activating the notification bell. Your engagement is greatly appreciated and serves as my ultimate reward. Thank you for your attention. We'll meet again soon.